Right now we're going to do an experiment. I have one bowl of water and another bowl of water. They're completely the same. I'm going to put the rosemary and the sea salt into the water and see what happens. I'm going to use my wooden spoon and try to mix them in as best as I can. We're going to start with the salt. I'm going to pour in as much salt as I think is necessary. And then take my spoon and mix it in. The final result is that the salt has completely dissolved in the water. There is no traces of salt anywhere within the bowl. Next, I'm going to pour the rosemary into the water and try to mix it in as best as I can. As you can see, the rosemary has not dissolved in the water at all. But, why did the salt dissolve, but not the rosemary? There are two answers to this question. The reason that the salt dissolved is because salt is soluble, meaning it has the ability to dissolve in water. And when it did dissolve in water, it created a homogeneous mixture, meaning that it completely dissolved in a uniformly distributive way. The reason why the rosemary did not dissolve in the water is because rosemary is non-soluble, meaning it does not have the ability to dissolve in water. But, although it did not dissolve in the water, it still created a heterogeneous mixture, meaning that its components in the water, the rosemary, can be taken out physically. out its components physically, in order to get the salt back out, we need to boil it. So I'm going to let this water boil and we'll see what happens. As you can see here, the water has completely evaporated, leaving behind traces of the salt pine.